breaking out of the standard boxed look of colored sections in web design can be a good way to give your site a modern and fresh look. And with the Divi theme, it requires no code and can be done in a few seconds. So having background colors that break across the content in the foreground just gives the page more of a tactile or a 3D look to it compared to, again, the box design that looks more like, you know, something on a piece of paper, more traditional. So adding some of these kinds of looks here where the modules are in front or the main content is in front of kind of a background break in color, whether it's straight across or on an angle, is just a great way to kind of upgrade your design, give it more visual interest. This page was built in Divi, and in the past, there were ways to do this with, you know, custom background images that had these colors in them, or there's ways to do it using CSS, as you can see on this uh, forum post here. Not super difficult, but um, it does require some code and some understanding of CSS. So being able to do this so quickly in a theme like Divi gives you kind of a superpower in web design to upgrade the look of your pages. So I kind of stumbled onto this myself a few years ago using the background gradient feature in Divi. So if you go into a section and then go to background, you could choose background colors, you could do background video, patterns, all the different uh, options that Divi gives you. But if you click on background gradient, they allow you to choose different colors for a background gradient. Let me go ahead and delete this one so we can start from scratch. So you click add background gradient and then they throw in some default colors. I'm gonna click one of these circles here and just choose the same color blue. Now I have two. I can move this one over, click to create another one. I'm gonna make this one white, which would be you know the same color as my background. So I click on it, choose white, and you can use this. The main purpose of, of this uh, feature is to create gradients like this. So you can change the direction of it in degrees and I could drag these around to move the gradient. So you see you have like a gradient fade, which is a pretty cool feature. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to create like a straight line background color change. So you can see how that happened when I moved these two stops uh, to the same spot. They gradually, you know, get to the point of getting a smaller transition to, you know, a zero transition in the same spot, which just makes it look like a kind of an angled color. So you could use this to create the look that I showed you at the beginning of the video where it looks like certain elements in the foreground have a background color cut across them. But with Divi, you could basically do this by making the, um, to make it a straight line. And then I could go to gradient direction and just get that to 90 degrees or 180 in this case. So then you have this, this look of a straight line color in the background. There's other ways to do this with margins and negative margins, but this is a quick way to kind of give a cool visual look. And again, you could also change the color so I could go back up to the gradient stops. I'd have to drag this white one away and I could change, you know, these two to gray. Then move that white one back. If you go too far, you'll see it reverses. So it's a little tricky, but you just got to move it slow. So you get to the same number. And you could, of course, drag this if you want it to be lower. I could move this over and then grab this gray one and move it over. You could get it wherever you want within the section. And then again, you go back to gradient direction and kind of spin it around to give whatever kind of, you know, look you're going for. So that's a quick Divi tip for creating angled color backgrounds. Uh, if you're not already using Divi and you'd like to grab the Divi theme for WordPress, check my link in the description below. And then make sure to check out more Divi tips on my channel. I'll link to one of my favorites right here.